What's going on, everybody? And welcome to the second episode of In The Loop Reviews with your boy, b Live. Today, we bounce back from the lyrical miracle genius of cannabis to the melodic sounds of Baby Keen. Now sit back, enjoy the conversation, but most of all, you better get in that loop. Zhoo. Hey, 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 welcome back, welcome back. This is episode two of In The Loop Reviews, and I'm your host, Mr. B. Live. Today, I'm enlisted with my boy, Reem. He's here to help us with the Baby Keem album review. And Reem, tell the people a little bit about yourself, man. Yo, yo, welcome everybody. Mike check, Mike check in this bitch. It's your boy, Reem. I also go by So Alive. Check me out on whatever social media platforms, yada, 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 but whatever. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm doing this video here for my boy B Live. Respect to you, young blood. All right, thanks, my guy. You already know it's respect, and uh, I'm gonna let you lead it off since you are my guest, man. Let us know a little bit about Baby King. I mean, uh, first and foremost, I don't really fuck with any artist that goes that calls himself a baby nowadays. Um, but anyway, his actual name is Hakeem Jamal Carter Jr. How he felt on Baby Kim, who the fuck knows. Uh, that just doesn't even hearing hearing certain artists names you know this is this is a whole kind of kind of thing you kind of go by for me at least for me right all right so what was your first impressions on the album man let us know what you first thought your first time hearing it. it's absolutely not pleasing to me <laughs> um respect him right he 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 doesn't do too much mumbling. He's not a mumble rapper, at least for, I guess again for me, right? He's more of a melodic. That's hundred percent correct, and I will most definitely agree with that. Baby King is not your traditional rapper. He's gonna be more of a melodic type rapper. In the same vein as a uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony, he fits that type of lane. So if you're expecting to hear bars and traditional rap style, then that's not what you're gonna get. Uh, I don't really care for the melodic rapping. If you feel me? Everything it seems to get put in this, under one category. Now it's just rap, hip hop. You know, I feel like it should be s- subcategories, different types of shit. You feel me? If if an artist is just is singing, they go. I feel like they gonna put it on, on underneath rap. That's not rap. You feel me? I don't give a fuck. Half these niggas can't even sing and just harmonizing. Well, I'm not even gonna get into that because I can't even harmonize myself. But see, I know that though, right? I'm not gonna put that shit laid in on wax on a, on, a, on a song. But anyway, you know, so like most artists doing the same shit, he got half his album is is kind of filled is filled with that, right? The beats is okay, not not too crazy, not for my taste. And the melodic shit is not a pleasing to me. So already I knew I wasn't going to like it. And from what I heard, I assume correctly because I don't like it. And for the most part, I will most definitely agree with what you were saying. However, I had to get myself out of that mind frame. Being born in the 80s, you already know we're heavy on lyrics and our traditional style of rap music. But like you said, Baby Keem is a little bit different. So I had to take away a little bit of my bias and listen to the album for what it's worth. And like you said, it is a melodic album. And I believe that it must be heard as a melodic album. And listening to it like that, um, you may not like the beats. But me personally, I thought that the beats were cool. And I definitely like Baby King flow throughout the album. So this is an album that I think you can most definitely listen to and ride to. You feel me? What you think? There's about two tracks he did. He did. He go. He went off of. Um, what's the name of it? Come back to me when that shit. Um, but he killed. He went off on it. Uh, even some some tracks. He got some. I'm not, I can't remember if it's on the album or not. He got a couple joints with his cousin Kendrick Lamar, and. Uh, you know, he clearly got outshined on that joint. He's spitting. Yeah, family ties. Family ties. Thank yeah. you. Family ties. That was a dope. That was a dope joint. And, uh, you know, I see right here. Do rag activity. Yeah. Praise God. <laughs> family ties. Right. The album got reached top twenty, which again isn't really saying shit. They, they, you got artists like Amy and Youngboy and anything. Can, anything now that's can get put on a top twenty, right? It don't mean shit. 
right? The, if, if you if, right. <laughs> slow down, man, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. So earlier you mentioned that he did have a few songs on the album that you liked. So this album has about 16 songs and it's for about 53 minutes. And out of the 16 songs, we counted them. And I would say that about 11 of them are good. You mentioned the songs that he has with his cousin, Kendrick. Those are Range Brothers, which is a pretty good song. And also Family Ties, which is a good song. Um, I would say that the standout uh, songs on the album would be Range Brothers, Issues, Gorgeous, South Africa, Lord Souls, Coco, Family Ties, Scars, Durag Activity, Boo Man, First Order of Business. He got like three uh, videos for these songs too, which are all, I would say they stellar, you know, but 11 songs out of a 16 song album isn't too bad, man. First and foremost, right, I, I, I'll give him a, a strong eight. And I give him an eight for, you know, he he's, he's saying some stuff well, not really, but you know, you, I, you can understand what he's saying. I, and I would agree. I would give the album an eight. I think that it's strong with the beats. I also feel that Baby Keem is strong with his flow. I like the melodies. Uh, it's, it's clear that you don't like his melodies and you think that his lyrics are trash. I, I would agree that sometimes the lyrics are trash, but uh, it's hit and miss. Sometimes he hits and other times he misses. So I think we both can agree that this album is an eight. I said there were 11 strong strong songs out of 16 and that's not bad is the album definitely worth a second third fourth listen to i think that uh you throw it on while you riding around when you want to go to sleep when you just feel like listening to good music i think it's an album that you could throw on during those times and listen to it and actually enjoy it and i cut you off earlier when you were speaking about uh chart music and what's uh what some people feel is on top um so break down your feelings about that and um i'm done with this you know what i mean i think the baby game album is all right and tap that like button if you like this stuff and bring us up out of here Reem. let us know what you feel about artists that's on the uh you know the, the billboards let us know what you feel about those billboards and we about you what gets pushed to the forefront is it always essentially what's best right quote unquote what's dope is there what it's what they think is dope and that's kind of my gripe like some of these artists not all some of these artists i feel like they're not doing what they feel like, yo, I'm going to do this because this is my kind of thing. I'm going to do this because that's a quick way to get the bag. I'm going to sign with a label because that's a quick way to get the bag. Which, meanwhile, I have these artists to sign into a label but still talking that street shit. Like, are you fucking dumb? The fuck is wrong with you, son? I, I, I should just play it out. Son, if you're an artist and I, get, I, I didn't hear, I can't, I can't recall... Some of his lyrics, because again, that's that's like some of these artists. Again, you, you go back in the day, not even some of these artists nowadays, right? We got let's say Nas, because Nas is still fucking relevant. Fuck what you heard. A Z came out with an album, was kind of lackluster to me, but that's another story, right? Um, um, what's the Benny the Butcher, right? Oh, I don't, I don't really fuck with the other dude in the group. Benny the Butcher. Um, uh, who else we got? Styles P, who drops a fucking album every three months, Jada Kiss, regardless, right? I do listen. I, I'm not. I'm not trying to sound like an old head who's saying that all, every every new rapper nowadays is like it's, it's 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 clips for them, right? Not the case. But my point is that you know you you saw growth, right? And even these dudes from back in the day, they're still they, they're not talking about killing one another, you know. Stabbing, I'm a kill nigga, this, that, and third. Blah, 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 right? Again, not to say Baby Keem is talking about that. I know I went off on, on a slight tangent. Baby Keem, I will put in the category of just a melodic rapper. Not a mumble rapper. Not a not a gangster rapper. Melodic rapper. So it's cool. He can get his shit off. I commend Duke, young dude, okay? Maybe his next album will be a lot, a lot pleasing to my ears. Maybe not, but I'm not hating on Duke. 